welcome back to Bandit Brothers, where last time we helped out uh, one of the patrols from this group and uh, learned some different game mechanics of how group fights kind of work and um, how crazy they could be if you had too many people in one giant fight like that. That was insanely amount of, you know, having to plan out for way more than just one other group, you know, figuring out one group's going to do one thing, goblins have ran all the way up there for some reason, still doing damage. Um, but let's do this. We're going to sell a bunch of stuff because we have a ton of stuff that we don't really need. I decided we need to kind of cut down because we're going to need space because I have a kind of a plan for today. So we're going to get rid of this because we already got three for all of our the archers. Get rid of that. That's repaired good enough. Um, all these extra quivers we don't need. We just need two for the archers in case we go with bows. We don't really need two of each of those. We don't need those because those are junk. Same with that. That's good enough. I might keep this. We'll see. Uh, I don't need two, three of those, I should say. I only need a couple of those. I want to keep a variety of helmets and armor. Mainly because if we happen to lose, say, horribly, two, three brow brothers, that means we have to start out with fresh recruits. Because the more expensive ones... Um, the gooder ones, I should say, are more expensive. So we kind of have to start back with a couple, maybe one good one, and then a couple fresh recruits. And so basically, we don't know what kind of skills they have, and so we have to be prepared to give them whatever we have, rather than having to buy it or go into a battle half prepared. So let's do this. Uh, we don't need that many shields. I'll go through the armor later. And we're going to do something crazy. We're going to get a war dog. <laughs> Yay! That was cool. And then we need to get some tools, and we need to get some armor. We need to get this for Otto, because he needs some better armor if we're going to go up there. We got 29. I think that should be fine. We got extra quivers we can actually change out. Let's get some extra tools, because we don't know how much damage we're going to be done to us up there. I mean, we have medicine, we have food, but if we run out of tools, I would be very unhappy if we got ambushed. And we could have repaired our tools and helped them protect us a little better. Um, to be honest, the helmets, I think we're pretty good. Someone pointed out that somebody had better helmet than their body armor. And truth be told, I think everyone but the archers have that. <laughs> this guy got 140 and his armor is only 110. Otto's helmet is crazy. 250 and his armor is only 110. That's why I got him this better stuff. I, I finally realized that. So there you go, Otto. Um, now it's up to 130. <laughs> It's just safety first. We know what happens when you don't have a helmet. The critical hits are really, really bad. And so you want to avoid that by having really good head protection. Plus, the fatigue's not so bad, so it's it's fine. Plus, we got most of those helmets for free, so... <laughs> so there's, there we go. I have to repair a few more things. I'm going to head up to Tordoff, though. We need to get some food. And then from Tordoff, we have to hit this little bridge, because that's the only way. I mean, we could go up here could be an option but I feel like we should try to swing up here check this see if like what kind of troops they are if we want to finish that mission get paid for it finally get enough coin we could maybe do it but to be honest I think I just there's gotta be so many bandit camps around here because I think I saw another group with a different flag today um, when I was coming back to that castle so I feel like there's gotta be like tons of bandit camps someplace and I'm not finding them down here so perhaps they're in the north let's see what else we can get rid of that that that, that. Um, da, 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 da. I think that's about it. Okay, so that gives us 4,570. Let's get a couple more food. And then let's level up some people. Okay, so let's see. Uh, you, sir. Let's reload, do this real quick. Um... Let's see, who gets better fatigue? I think it's a crazy dude. You're going to get Otto's old armor. Because you can wear it, so might as well put it to use. You're also going to get the dog. Because it loses some more fatigue. And you've got crazy 78 fatigue. Goes right there in that little slot. Pretty handy. You've got throwing spears, I should remember about too. Um, so you've done 68, which is still good for compared to everyone else. And then let's see what else we need to do. Um, you, sir, should probably use some better armor. It's only 80 with 8 fatigue, but we have to be careful because you've got that. So we could go up to that, that'd give you 10 more for the same. But what if we went a little crazier and we want this? 110. Um, how 
that'd be four. That would bump you down to 59. I think that's good enough for now. You guys got 62 and 66. So you can use that, because that only drops you down to 64, which isn't bad. And then you've got this, which is really good, with 95 and 10. So everything else is pretty much less, except for this, which is 110. Do you have anyone? You've got 63. Hmm. Do we want to go crazy and give you it then, maybe? It's only two more. Why not? Let's do it. 60 is not bad, but any less your fatigue and you can't be very effective in combat. And let's do your perks. Um, let's do Bloody Harvest. So if we do around the world, we can get better odds of hitting things. Like, more than one hit. <laughs> do that for sure. Uh, let's do your fatigue for sure. Ooh, that was a good one. Four points. And then... I feel like we should maybe do some more health on you. There you go. 82 hit points isn't bad. Let's see. You're going to get this one because you can actually shoot at really, really close combat. So if somebody jumped you at close combat, he can point blank shoot him right in the face. And it'd do amazing amounts of damage, which would be really fun. <laughs> so do that one. And we're also going to do your melee this time because we should actually work. I mean, 70 is really good upgrade these a little bit so that when we have to rely on them using the pikes that um, there's a better chance that they're actually gonna hit with them. And let's upgrade your health just in case and then that's it for those guys so we got perks we've got gear let's reorganize it one more time oh you guys should probably use these extra better spears Oops. and then you need it down here sweet in case we ever need to use spear walls with these archers and there we go so I'm going to head up north because it's going to take a while because we got to walk through these forests, we got to walk through these mountains. And then I'll be back with either a fight or if we decide to fight this or if I find something. Like, hopefully, maybe, a bandit camp. Oh, what's this? It may be a map? Maybe not. <laughs> During camp, Randolph the Boyer comes to you with a bit of a request. He wishes to build a weapon for the ages. Whoa. Apparently the man has been attempting to build a bow of legendary qualities for many years, but now that he has been on the road, he's picked up a few things to fill in his gaps of knowledge. Truly, he believes he can get it right this time. All he needs is a few resources to help proceed the elements, uh, oh, process the elements need to construct it. Some of 300 crowns is what he will humbly request. Do it, dude. 300 crowns? Um, oh my goodness. The bow isn't quite legendary, but it is quite good. It's light in the grip, easily spun from side to side with the air whistling as it whirls. You test the draw. Strong men will be required to wield it, that is for sure. When you lose an, when you loose an arrow, the shaft travels unbelievably straight and the shot almost seems to aim itself. A brilliant weapon if you ever saw one. So we lost 300 crowns, which is no biggie. Randolph is eager now, and Randolph are you gain Randall's masterwork bow? Oh my goodness, a masterwork. Okay, we gotta check that out. I love that. I, that was so worth 300. Even if he failed it, I would have risked it. So there it is, Randall's masterwork bow. It's worth 1,500. Its damage is 50 and 70, so a regular hunting bow is 40 and 60. That's not bad. 35% and 75%. So, good there too. Uh, and range is 7, range is 7, max fatigue is 6, max fatigue is 6, so yeah. Um, equip it, Randolph. You made the bow, you use it. Honestly, that's so cool. I like that. Maybe Otto will make us a super axe one day. <laughs> I already see bandits, so I'm kind of feeling like maybe this is where they're coming from. But again, I'll be right back with something. Okay, so we went farther up north because... Uh, these guys change from slightly even or slightly weaker to even, and I don't like those odds. Like when you're fighting orcs and uh, goblins, they have their kind of like different traits and abilities, and it can kind of catch you off guard. So I I want to get a little better odds against those, especially with goblins. They're nasty with their attacks that can just ignore armor. It's insane. Whereas orcs just chew through armor, you know. Um, so you kind of have a little bit of a buffer with them. But here we go. We're gonna fight some necromancers. Uh, at least a necromancer and his army of skeletons. <laughs> this is it's puny, so I'm gonna trust it. We have a necromancer, many skeletons, a few skeleton bowmen, and a some so, uh, well, some skeleton guards. Uh, so let's do this. Everyone's decked out. I believe we should be okay. Oh look, the snow disappeared. Mist. That's good. Um. Oh man, 
got some high ground around here we need to just kind of play out. Gotta remember... Who got the dog? The crazy dude. Over here. I've never used the dog, so it'd be kind of interesting. I don't know if I want to go for the high ground with the archer. Like, I feel like we could just go for some shots. 67 isn't bad. 67. Let's go for that one. Oh, we got that guy in the set. That's fine. Another archer. Oh, he got that hit. He uses bush to divide and conquer. No, I don't know. If I put you here, I could still launch a shot off. But I won't be able to shoot because of this bush. I think we're just going to wait. We'll let them come closer. We're going to wait. Gonna wait. So here comes one guy. Oh, we got this high ground I just noticed in the middle here. It's kind of funky. But hopefully we can take at least these two, knock that guy off, and conquer that one. So let's see. I feel like we should go on the fence. Start. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, you sneaky bugger. You got way up there. We definitely need to take that high ground now. Um. Like, I want to put you there and smash that guy. Good. Good hit. And you can go up there and hit him. And then we'd have those two high grounds. Oh, we're going to shield wall over there. Okay. Gotta deal with this guy because he's getting attacked from two range. That thing. Oh, couldn't quite finish. Maybe a crossbowman can finish him off for us? So you gotta go around with that tree. Oh, shoot. You're going to be completely cut off here. Let's put you over here. And you stick together, hammer dude. Um. So let's see. If we put Otto there, he can hit him. And then we can put that guy over here, and he can do some damage. So you can go over here, actually, with your flail. Around the world? Nope. Couldn't quite do it. Oh, man, Otto. That was a good hit. Okay, go over there. Do the same thing with that guy, hopefully, next turn. Now, this archer dude, you're going to definitely try using a dog on him. Plus, we have the Necromancer, who can resurrect any one of these guys that we killed. So we have to take him out kind of quickly so we don't have to fatigue ourselves fighting his men over and over again. It's a risky shot, 57, and I could hit auto. Same with that one. 61, and I could hit this guy. So I feel like maybe we should try... 61's not bad, though. Oh, we got it. Okay, reload. And then you're going to go over here since there's only one of you. Good hit. He's almost dead. We're going to shoot at one of these guys. Probably the axe dude. Because we got to whittle him down before he gets over here. So, oddly enough, he didn't resurrect anybody. Maybe it's because I'm standing on their bones? No, because if the zombie resurrects, he just bumps you. Okay, keep dodging, guys. Oh, shoot! Yep, he had a double swing. Hit both of us. Oh, man! Otto's armor is completely gone now. Completely gone. All 130 hit points. That's insane. Oh, that's insane. 75. Risk it. Ah, oh, missed. Okay, he moved way over there just to do that. Okay. We gotta watch out for this flank. I can't believe Otto's armor is gone already. Oh, shoot. We gotta hit this guy, though. Oh, shoot. Um, he can shoot him in the face. 79. Try to kill that guy. Good. Okay, shooting. Let's go for... Oh, man. Otto's so in trouble. That one. Okay, and then let's go after this guy. And then we need to go after... Shoot, this guy kind of... Okay, and then you need to shoot this guy. <laughs> you missed! Oh, well, that's not good. Um. Okay, he's now dead. Otto, you need to land some hits here, boy. Oh, it was a good hit. Okay. Try to kill that guy. Get this archer before he gets out of the door. Oh, that was a good hit. Okay, he resurrected that guy, which I didn't want him to do. Oh, man! Okay, he's going after them. Oh, shoot! Oh, 
shoot. Okay. <coughs> Group is not puny at all. They are doing so much damage, and that archer is in so much trouble now. He lost his helmet. Okay, we need to kill guys so quickly now. Um, 66. 56. 66. We gotta risk it. That's a good hit, but it didn't do much. And then shoot this guy in the face. Okay. I would switch to the pike, but by the time you switch, you can't attack. Kill that guy. And then you need to... Try to hit that guy. He's almost dead. Okay. Hit this guy. Kill him. Good. Auto. You need to kill that guy. Good. Wait. We might have to back you out of there. You need to go after... That guy and that guy again. And then you go after that guy. Okay. Oh, we're killing them now. Again. Good hits. Good hits. Okay. Um, I should have switched to bludgeon weapons for all those dudes. But the sword's doing not bad for that guy. Um, Go over here. Uh, Otto can't do anything. Don't die, Otto. Don't die. Okay, don't die, Archer. I'm gonna resurrect that dude. Here comes an axe dude coming up here. Oh, we missed. Okay. Okay, he is now dead again. We need to go after this guy. Okay. 23 or 33. Or 75. 75 is a good call. And then we can go for 45 on this guy. Missed! What? Okay. You can't reload. Can you? You can't. I don't think you can attack him in the same turn. No, you can't. Okay. Go over here and kill that guy then. Or not. Auto, you're gonna back up because you have no hit point or armor left. Okay, and you're gonna go after that guy. Okay, and then you're gonna go over here, give him more targets to hit besides this guy. And then you're gonna go down here, pin this guy in, release the dog. Why not? Oh, he got him! No way! He's biting him. Good bull. Okay, can't hit him more. You've got like no armor and no health, so you're gonna back up. All the way over here. Oh, the dog got the necromancer. Right, he's going on a rampage. Okay, I don't know where you're shooting at, dude. Okay, oh, there goes his shield. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, what's this one do? Repel, poke and shove at a target in order to force it away from you, from the user by one tile. Oh, that's a good one. Let's use that. Okay, get him the heck out of there. And then we can do 58 or 45. Let's do the 58. Good. Okay, um, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do this. Okay. And then let's do 27. Reload. Auto. I'm gonna stay there. Crazy dude, go over here. Um, hammer dude, go over here. I <sighs> can't get that dude. Can you get him? No. Okay, flail dude. <laughs> And then you're going to sit over there. <laughs> there goes the dog after the archer now. Oh, he stabbed at him, but he got armor. That's why he got the dog with armor. <coughs> oh, shoot. He did around the world. These guys were not puny at all. They, I was lied to, guys. <laughs> and then we can stab at him. Oh, we missed, though. Okay, you need to stab at him. Okay, that was a good hit. Archer. 45... 58, or should I move over here? Let's move here and see if we can shoot at that guy if we have to. Um, 58. We move over here. 60. 63. Good hit. And your turn. 
me to kill that guy. Good. Hammer dude. Hammer. No. Flail dude. Yes. Go there for no reason. Um. You're gonna stand over there and look good. And then you smack that guy. And now it's all up to the dog. Can the dog kill the archer? That's the question. Oh, he dodged. Oh, that's, oh he's biting him, though. Oh, look at this. He knew to take the high ground. Oh, shoot. The dog's taking damage, though. Auto. I'm just moving you for no reason. Okay. Spear, dude. You might as well. You got the spear out. Um, off gear. Get down there. Archer. 63%. Don't hit the dog. Oh, that was close. Should have said that before he shot, but I didn't think about it. Can't shoot now. Crazy dude might as well move down there. That was not a puny group. That was just insanely... The damage doing... Oh, man. That was insane. Okay. Uh, you might as well move down here. And then you... Okay. Okay. It's always nice to give him targets. And the dog got him. I wish we could get, like, experience for the dog. You know, beef him up a little bit. Because he was taking some hits there. But he did good. I mean, he took out the Necromancer. That was pretty nice. So let's see. Uh, 130 armor damage. That was insane. I'm glad I got you that new armor. Otherwise, you'd been dead sooner. And then we got one upgrade. That's not bad. Loot. Let's see. We got another great axe. Oh, we got a great sword, too. We got a bill hook. We got some other stuff. We got, what's it, 579? It's not bad. But otherwise, there's not really any armor. We got seven tools, which isn't going to even repair what we broke. <laughs> and we lost a heater shield, which was kind of expensive. So let's see. We're down to how many hours? 62 hours to heal. Ouch. 33 hours, and it's going to cost us 50 tools. Ouch. So let's redo this. We got two great swords, though. That'll pay for some good money. Okay. Uh, let's upgrade Rambert. Rambert... We can go into here now, which is... Let's do Berserk. And then for you... Melee. See, Fatigue and Health. Okay. Oh, you didn't do Fatigue. Oh, four points. Nice. Okay. There we go. Um, so we didn't get any armor to give to people. You need a new helmet, though. What's something we could give you? 70... 45. Let's give you the 71. Um, and then let's give you the crossbow back again. Let's see. What else do we need? You need... Somebody needs a shield. You need a shield. Okay. And then... We got a lot of junky shields to go sell. I mean, they're only less... 30 bucks less, but they're not very good durability-wise. No, they're exact same. So if you wanted to, we use these junky old shields. That's kind of neat. Um, didn't get any armor. Everyone got helmets. Everyone got stuff. I think next time we should maybe... I don't know. The swords, some of them did some nice damage. I don't know if the swords really matter too much. But we're going to bounce, because we need to heal up really badly, and I don't want to get caught off guard. I've been here in the snows. The dog, that was cool experimenting. I've never used a dog before, and I don't even know... Like, I was kind of expecting to control the dog a little bit, but... Um playing Total War, that was the same way. You just released the dog and it would go after whoever it felt like, pretty much. But it was nice that it actually targeted the Necromancer like I wanted and not go after, like, I don't know, the main group we were trying to fight. Like, I'm pretty sure if he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of those skeletons with, like, the great sword, he would have been one-shotted, because I don't know how much durability he has. Let's double-check that. Um, crazy dude guns the dog, right? See, it doesn't say anything. All it says is a strong and loyal breed of war uh, can be or uh, can be unleashed in battle for scouting, tracking, or running down routing enemies. This one wears a leather coat for protection against cutting wounds. So it doesn't say how much protection it got. Um, like, I wish there was a little bit more info on the dogs. Like, more statistics, I should say. Like, their attack abilities. Like, if you could have a dog that had more attack points than another dog puny group of ambush. Look, there's another group up here. I've seen snake dudes, snake flags with purple on them, and that one had red. There's gotta be a bunch of bandit camps up there. But here we go. I'm gonna go and heal up, but I think that's gonna be it for this episode, because 
we gotta heal up for a long time before we can do anything, and we don't have much time left to do another fight. But let's see, we got 4,500. We can't get the new Battle Brother. We can sell some stuff, though. And I should start repairing some of this now that we're closer. Um, but yeah, that was kind of fun. Gotta go up there in the snow. Find out there's a lot more stuff up there than I was expecting. A lot more nastier stuff. But I feel good about the idea that there could be a lot of bandits up there. And if we can take out, like, two or three bandit camps... We should be able to get a lot of coin experience and then definitely get the new guy. But I feel like that's where we're going to go ahead up next time. Um, we're just not going to trust the game and when it says they're puny. We're not going to take it for granted because those guys were nasty. Let's go ahead and see. Let's double check. I can't remember how much Rolo was. 5,890. Oh my goodness. So let's see. That's in 25 a day. That would put us at 260, no, 270 crowns a day. S no, 170 crowns, sorry. So we would need quite a bit of money. Like, I would feel comfortable, because it's a long walk up there. I would feel comfortable if we had 7,000 to give us that extra bit of money after buying him. To be able to go up there, find some stuff, get paid, and then come down with the loots to get more money. Yeah, definitely got to get a lot more money for him. So let's see. Uh, we can sell that now. And that. I think we're going to leave some Morning Stars to start him, though. Because skeletons might take a little more damage with the bludgeoning weapons compared to swords. I can get rid of one of those. Actually, I can get rid of those, too. Oh, my goodness. Actually, let's compare these real quick. 28, 24, 50, 75. Oh, 85 and 110. 20, 95, 35, and 120. Shield damage is 8. Chance to hit the head is 5, same. But 2 less fatigue. Oh my goodness. 2 inner variant of the sword with long, thin blade. One side, no cross guard. Can be used for both quick slashes and sweeping strikes. Hmm. I definitely feel like we'll just stick with this though. And let's just. Like, what's. What does he have? Does he have a sword or an axe? He has an axe, too. Like, we almost have enough money to get him, so we just need a little bit more. But I feel like maybe we should give him a great sword. Kind of mix it up a little bit, you know? It's kind of cool. What else can we get rid of? Um, the bows. We don't need that many bows. Get rid of these extra quivers. And then, like, hook bill. Hmm, do we want to keep a hook veil? Let's get rid of these nasty shields. Oh man, we're getting up there, guys. We lost the heater shield, though, so I almost feel like we need to replace that, because those are really nice for the added points. Say I get rid of some more armor. Oh man. Oh, I know what we can do, guys. I know what we can do. We can take out this bandit camp. It's puny. We should be able to get quite a bit of money, experience, and then we could maybe top off and get Randolph or Rolo before we go up here to look for bandit camps. Oh my goodness, guys. We're a lot closer than I think we were. Let's do that. Next time, we're going to take out this little bandit group because it's just bandits. Uh, maybe take out a couple more bandits around here. Just get the coin and then head up there with Rolo. But I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed that little trip to the north. That was kind of cool going up here. There's so much stuff up here. Look at all the space that there's stuff hiding from us. Like bandit camps galore. I bet there's going to be tons of them up there. But I will see you guys next time.